add mortar to the hole popper made easier. So the old way that I've done for many years is grab this can, and I call it a gas can, go over to the wire machine, grab this auxiliary hose, sit there and fill this thing on up about halfway, sing my favorite song, Men at Work, Down Under, or whatever we're talking about. And then go on over and fill, drop it on it. Now remember, this isn't even anywhere near as full as normal. I like to use the water out of the wire machine because it is conditioned and ready to use in the hole popper. So I was thinking about it and I said, huh, I got a little pond pump somewhere. I think I used some of those, modified some things on the machine using a pond pump. I think I got a spare. Hey, here it is. Look at that. We can make this work. So we put it on over and said, but drop that in the clean water tank. Boom, run the hose on out through there and plug it on in. And we run the hose underneath the machine over to here to do a little test. Run it over here like this and down through the back and we see if water can come on out and it works just fine. So fill it for a minute or two and it'll be perfect. This is great. Just let the water go in there. So buy this little device off of Amazon so you can uh, have something on for a minute or two and turn off. Build this piping with the hose underneath the machine on over to where that clean water tank is. Makes it look pretty nice and orderly. Now, we just walk up to the, to the machine when it's making a noise, hit the button for one minute and walk away from the machine. And here we got water flowing out of the hose. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Doesn't get any easier than this. Thanks for watching, everyone.